Yasharal. My name is Brother Get Elijah and Yasharal Shalom. Shalom. Welcome to Yasharal Commonwealth Ministry, where we are a Bible teaching ministry. Line up online, preach up on free self, teaching the commandments of Yahweh. But before we get started today, we're going to have an opening scripture by Aki Galilee. That opening scripture will be read from Romans chapter 11, verses 2 through 4. Verse 2 reads, You who has not cast away this people whom he foreknew, or do you not know what the scripture says about liar, how he appealed to Yahuwah against Yahshua, saying, Yahuwah, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what, has Yahuwah's, what was Yahuwah's reply to him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. So too, at this present time, there is a remnant chosen according to Yahuwah's undeserved mercy. May the reading of the word of Yahuwah have a blessing in Yahusha's name. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah family. Hey, go get your Bibles because we got a wonderful teaching today of sharing this information. As always, my our disclaimer is we're not trying to convert nobody. Right. But we want to share our information. Share our information. You know what I'm saying? And it's important that you have other sources to be able to qualify your understanding in Scripture. Mm -hmm. So there are some out here who are definitely on the deception part of religion, mm -hmm. right? The religion itself, the concept of religion is, is truthfully is demonic, mm -hmm. you know? Because Yahuwah never gave us religion. Mm -hmm. He gave us a way of life according to law, statutes, judges, and commandments, how to operate in harmony and love with one another. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing he gave us was his name, yeah. right? But a lot of us don't want to deal with the name because of religion. Religion stops, buying, holds us back from the creator. Mm -hmm. And what we want to share today is the name game yeah. is very, very dangerous. Why is it very dangerous? Because if you miss call on the wrong person and that person holds your salvation, mm -hmm. then you're not calling on the right individual for your salvation, mm -hmm. right? So if you are calling on God and God do not hold your salvation because you were taught God is the creator, God is love, God got many names, and you omit the one true creator, Yahuwah, mm -hmm. then... God just stole your salvation and you go into the lake of fire. Lake of fire. But what about the Mashiach? Because the Mashiach says, I come in my Father's name. What is that? Yachinah or John 5 and 34, 45 or something mm -hmm. like that. So if the Mashiach says, I come in my Father's name, and the Father's name is Yah, who up, then the Son name has to look like the Father's name. So in the in the realm of mankind, we know what a junior is, right? right. A junior has the same name as the senior, mm -hmm. and the only difference, technically, is that the the senior has S R and the junior has J R yeah. on the bottom of his name, right? So when I was a Jesus teacher, you know, I was also bamboozled to think that it was okay to say that God's name was Jesus because in our King James Version, mm -hmm. the name Jesus is in there, mm -hmm. right? So if Jesus said he comes in his Father's name, then the Father's name should be Jesus. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is not a Hebraic name. It's a Latin name. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with Yahuwah's name. Mm -hmm. And as sad as it is how people will start clicking us off, mm -hmm. but those that want the true understanding, we're going we're gonna to show you the trick that they have tricked us by saying all these names are the same. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, if, if my name is Netanyahu and you call me Galilee, or you call me Abijah, or you call me Rotten Kevin or Pete, I, I'm going to tell you that's not my name. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you want to deal with me, you have to deal with me with my name, mm -hmm. my appropriate name. Mm -hmm. So, Let's let's look at the name game. It's a very dangerous, it's a very dangerous doctrine, mm -hmm. and many people are dealing with this crap out here and not really doing the research. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start in Yachinah chapter 19, which is uh, John chapter 19 in your King James version. I'm gonna be reading out of the King James version, mm -hmm. right? Because this is where we gotta expose, you know, some of the faults that they have put in here. They wouldn't fix. But you know, my my thing is this: if you know there's Bad things misrepresented in the book, 
why not just fix this? Where everybody get the real truth with the real name. Hmm. But that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. But people don't want to do that. Hmm. No, I, I got what I want. I want what I got, and I'm gonna serve who I want to serve. Hmm. And by all means, you have every right to do that. Serve what you want to serve, how you want to serve it. But remember, at the end of the day, you gotta meet Yahuwah. Yeah, right. You gotta meet him, right? Yeah. But let's see what Pilate wrote <clears throat> over the stake of Yahoo, Yahusha's head, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Yachinah 19, verse 19. I'll, you get there, go ahead. Verse 19. Uh -huh. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the stake. And the writing was, Yahusha of Nazareth, the king of the Yahweh. Okay, so there's this title that most people are familiar with, right? Mm -hmm. And this title is written in three of the, the three different languages that kind of governs this King James Version, right? right? We know there's, it's supposed to be a Hebraic concept, mm -hmm. but there's a Greek concept mm -hmm. with Greek names, and there's a Latin concept with Latin names. Mm -hmm. But the dominant concept is supposed to be Hebraic, right? right? No matter if you're Roman Catholic, Christian, or, or, or if you're Buddhist, or whatever it is, if you're gonna deal with, the, with, with this King James Version, you have to deal with it from a Hebraic concept. If you don't know how to be Hebrew, we can teach you how to be Hebrew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, right? can. We, we can, can teach you how to be Hebrew, right? <laughs> right? But it's the concept, it's the understanding that the creator Yahuwah, who said he's the father of Yasharal, dealt with them from their Hebraic concept. Right. Understanding, right? So here's this, this writing that's been put above, above his head three times, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it says what? Go ahead. It says, Yahushua of Nazareth, the king of the Yadayim. Uh -huh. Verse 20. Go ahead. Then many of the Yadayim read this title, because the place where Yahushua was sacrificed was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Okay, so if you don't want to worship Yahuwah through the teachings of Yahushua, then you're going to be like these Sadducees and these Pharisees here, mm -hmm. who says that, hey, say he said. We don't want to acknowledge that he's the king of the Yadayim. Right? So, if you don't want to acknowledge Yahusha, then you're going to default to some false name, some bad name, some erroneous name, or a name that's just made up in thin air to give you the worship something totally different. That's what this is. So, are you Latin? No. Are you Greek? No. Are you Hebrew? Absolutely. So, you should seek the Mashiach how? Through Hebrew. Through Hebrew. And, and your Latin should lead you through Greek back to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Your Greek should lead you back to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But people are so confused and confounded with religion and doctrines and levity of the Pharisees and Sadducees, they can't figure this out. Because right. they sit in front of a man or a woman every Sunday or every Saturday or whatever they're doing and listening to dictation instead of understanding the correct terminology of this book. Mm -hmm. So it was written in Hebrew, in Greek, Greek and in Latin, right? Let's go a little further, right? Let's go to Numbers 13. Because we talk about the Mashiach snake, because you know, of course, in your King James, it says what? Well, Jesus, right? But we're going to show you, teach you, help you share our information that it, it wasn't really Jesus, brothers and sisters. It was Yahushua, the way the brother read it earlier. So, so this is my King James Version. And what everybody see? I ain't cheating. No, I'm, I'm honest, right? King James Version. So here in Numbers, let's look at the Latin pronunciation or the transliteration of the Mashiach's name in the Latin, uh, the way it got it written or sounding Latin, which is supposed to be sounding Hebrew, right? Well, okay, let's, let's go to Numbers 13, verse 16. Let's look at Numbers chapter 13, verse 16, and let's see what Moshe did to Oshia's name that Yahuwah gave him charge to do. Right? Because Hoshia's name is going to be changed into the, the name of the true Mashiach to come. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Verse 16. Uh huh. These are the names of the men Moshe sent to spy out the land. And Moshe gave Hoshia, son of Nun, the name Yehusha. Okay, Yehusha. But in your King James, it says Jehoshua. Right? It's Jehoshua. It's supposed to be the Latin transliteration from the Hebrew Yahusha to Jehoshua mm -hmm. with the J. The J represents the A sound, right? So here is here's Oshia, son of Nun, whose name has been changed to Yahusha Ben, mm -hmm. right? 
but we say Joshua. Why we say Joshua? Because in the very next chapter, the 14th chapter numbers, right? And verse 6, they can't even, they want to get you away from anything that sounds to bread. If the name sounds to bread, they want to get you away from it. Mm -hmm. And Joshua sounds to bread for the most part, but if you pronounce it correctly, it is Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Some brothers say Yahosha, right? But it's Yahusha is what it is. Because Yah's name is Yahu for the most part, the root, right? So they get us away from Yahushua or Yahusha real fast. Yeah. In the next chapter, they call him what? 14 and 6. Go ahead. And Yahusha ben Nun uh -huh. and Caleb ben Yahushua. Yep, enough, uh -huh. who were among those who had spied out the land toward their clothes. So here it says Joshua and Joshua the son of Nun. Well, is Joshua Yahushua or is he Joshua? Mm -hmm. But both of them are supposed to be the transliteration of the name Yahusha. Mm -hmm. If you know it's Yahusha, you no longer need to use the, the names Joshua, Jehoshua. Because now you have the original source. Mm -hmm. You have the original correction. Mm -hmm. So people want to say, well, we're going to say Joshua anyway. Well, Yahushua never said my name was Joshua. He never said that he was expecting his name to be transliterated either. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go to China and you say Michael Jordan in Chinese, it's still Michael mm -hmm. Jordan. <laughs> because the names can't be translated, right? They can be transliterated, but that's like taking the alphabet. Uh, one language to another language and uh, making the same sound. So years ago, let, let's see if I got this right. Let's see. N G Y U N. You got that here. So in Chinese, this 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 name here, right? I, I'll say Inu G N, right? I was talking to a guy. On, on the phone, you know, and I was saying in Jujian, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, no, that's not how you pronounce my name. My name is pronounced <laughs> Win. <laughs> I'm like, what? He said, yes, my name is Win. Last name is Win. Alex Win. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. So, we have to be careful with how names are supposed to be transliterated mm -hmm. because Win in English is W I N or W I N D W E N W H E N W H E N. <laughs> so that's why they get us caught up on Jehoshua, Joshua. I will tell you another name, brothers and sisters. But if you go back to the correct pronunciation, though you see it as Jehoshua, mm -hmm. pronounce it correctly, right. Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's go to uh <laughs> let's go to uh first chronicles, right? Twenty seven uh, seven chapter. First Chronicles of seven chapter. So I'm, I'm reading out the King James Version because it's important for us to see these names and in the King James Version. Simple as that. Aki is reading out of the B.O.I. Book of Yahuwah, right? So even in our Book of Yahuwah, though it says the Book of Yahweh, we know how to pronounce Yahuwah's name when we see it. It is pronounced Yahuwah because there is no double U in Hebrew. I don't care what they tell you. There's no W in Hebrew. So you got to self-correct. If you're Hebrew, mm -hmm. you understand your dialect, your language, your alphabet, right? So now, let's go a little further. Let's go to 1 Chronicles uh, chapter 7, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes time to study and get it right. But if someone can help you sharpen your sword faster, then jump on board and sharpen your sword. Get in the game and fight for your salvation. That's right. Simple as that, right? So 1 Chronicles 7, verse uh, 27. Uh, what name is there again? Verse 27. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nun, his son, and Yahushua, his son. Wait a minute now. Nun and his son, Yahushua, right? Mm -hmm. But in this King James Version here, it says the same way as it says in Numbers 13 in your, in your scriptures, mm -hmm. Joshua. So we got an H on the end of it this time. Mm -hmm. So Yahuwah has an H on the end of his name, right? So why should Yahushua have an H on the end of his name if that would be the case? But it is the sound of the name, Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Yahu is salvation. Yahuwah. The self-existing one, brothers and sisters. 
So again, we just want you to qualify your King James Version so people can stop telling you that, hey, it's, it's Joshua, it's Jehoshua. Same thing with Jehovah. As you go back and look at God versus Creator Part 2 of our teachings that we share that information, we're showing you where Je uh, Jehovah is actually Yahuwah, right? But don't nobody want to pay attention to the linguistics or the grammatics. Well, that's a grammatical error. Well, yeah, if you're going to call Yahuwah Jehovah, it's a whole different terminology. That's no longer a Hebraic concept. That's a Latin concept. You know what I'm saying? So who are the Latin teachers? The Roman Catholic Church. So if you believe in Jesus as the Mashiach, and he's not her bread named Yahushua, mm -hmm. then you got a whole different concept. And now the name game is dangerously taking your salvation. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, right? Let's go to uh, Zechariah, the third chapter, right? Ezra, I'm sorry. Ezra, the third chapter, right? And we're going to look at the third chapter. We're going to go back to the second chapter too. But in the third chapter, let's look at this name again because... There are so many different doctrines on the name game. First of all, let's stop saying Yahuwah is God and he got many names. Let's mm -hmm. stop that. Let's just, let's just stop that all across the board. Let's just deal with the one created with the one name, right? And then everything else is going to fall into place, right? Because if not, then you're going to be stuck with when talking about Inugian, right? So that was my own ignorance because I didn't study language. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. And I learned that, okay, I got to now study the language. Right. You know, I got to do a little bit of that. Because if not, then I don't want to mess my name up, so mm -hmm. I don't want to mess nobody else's name up. So now, but here, here we are in Ezra in the third chapter, right? Mm -hmm. Ezra in the third chapter. Let's read verse uh, mm -hmm. 2, right? Verse 2. Let's see the name Yahusha in the, in the King James Version as, what well, we read something different now. Go ahead. Then Yahusha, son of Yazadek, and his brothers, the priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Sheatiel, or Padiah, and his associates rose up and built the altar of the father of Yasharal to sacrifice burnt offerings on it, as written in the law given through Moshe, the man of Yahuwah. Okay, so now we go from Jehoshua to Joshua <laughs> to <laughs> Jeshua, right? It's Jeshua now. J E. Your King James, J-E-H-U-A, Jeshua. Wh which name is the correct name? Is it Jeshua? Is it Joshua? Is it Jehoshua? Remember, the J is supposed to represent the Y sound, right? And I'll tell you what else people get tripped up on. When they, when they, when they see it like this here, uh, Yeshua. Mm -hmm. They say Yeshua, Y E S. Remember, they say, well, this is the this is the Aramaic version of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, if that's the Aramaic, then what's this? Well, that's the, that's the Latin version. Okay, then where's the Hebrew version? Well, there is no Hebrew version to people, right? Because they don't want to deal with the Hebraic creator mm -hmm. that's giving you the Hebraic concept. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, right? But again, we're talking about the name game, how they just impose names on you and you're supposed to just accept that. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to, before you go, let's go to the second chapter right quick. Because I want to show something in the second chapter, okay? Uh, we stay in the book of Ezra, chapter 2, verse 36, Aki. I read that for me. 36. Uh huh. These are the Aaronic, the Aaronic priests who returned, the descendants of Yediah, through the house of Yahushua. Okay, so again, in my, in, the, in my book of Ezra, which just says Ezra, they took the Yah off his name, right? His name is Ezra Yah, right? And he's telling us that, he says that, hey, uh, the priests, the children of Jedediah, remember, Jedediah, if you, if you ever read the, the whole book of Chronicles about Solomon, mm -hmm. Yahuwah changed Solomon's name to Yedediah. Yadadaya with a Y. Mm -hmm. Yadaya, really, what it was. Mm -hmm. What does Yadaya mean? It means beloved of Yah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's beloved of Yah. So here, here you got these two names. 
Jedediah, which is Jedediah, beloved of Yah, and then you have this Jeshua, which is supposed to be Yahusha, Yahuwah is salvation. So the beloved of Yah are bringing you Yahuwah salvation. Mm -hmm. In Hebrew, names mean things, brothers and sisters. It means, it has meaning. If you don't understand the concept and the meaning of a name, then you've been tricked, you've been duped. Mm -hmm. You are caught up in the name game, and it's very, very dangerous, brothers and sisters. So all we're trying to do is just show you how they're tricking us in the name game. Oh, well, see, under the banner of God, God got many names. But now you don't say the Son got many names. You say the Son got one name, and that name better be Jesus. You better call him Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what they do. No. We're looking at now, if this is the Son, and the Son is God, then he's supposed to have many names. Mm -hmm. Because God got what? Many names. Many names. Right? But we're not talking about God, talking about the Creator and his Son, mm -hmm. Yahushua, and his people who was called with his name. Absolutely. So now, now we just go a little further. Uh, I didn't want to get too sidetracked with that one, but I just, I just want to throw that out there. That, I mean, it's important for us to come to this understanding, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Zechariah chapter 6. Because this Joshua, or this Joshua in Ezra, his father's name was Yahazadeh, mm -hmm. right? In the King James Version, they, they, they got his name spelled different again, so that they, I guess they want you to know it's not Jesus. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they're not talking about a Jesus. They're not, brothers and sisters. They tell you every name possible but Jesus to try to get you back to connecting you, the dots, to Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Right? They try to connect the dots back to Yahushua for you. But yet, in religion, they keep you moving forward by saying, hey, God got many names, so the Son got many names. Right? Zechariah, uh, the sixth chapter, we're going to read verse 11. Right? Okay. Zechariah 6. And verse 11, uh, let's look at this, the son name. Because in my King James Version, your King James Version, for the most part, the name there is Joshua again. Because remember, it started as Yehoshua, mm -hmm. and then it went, the next chapter went to Joshua. Mm -hmm. Then here we are looking in, Ezra is Yeshua, mm -hmm. right? And the Aramaic Version is Yeshua, mm -hmm. right? All these names don't belong to the mighty son. Mm -hmm. They don't. They, they are... Think of someone's imagination trying to say, hey, we want, we want you to be able to worship him in many different parts, basically. Mm -hmm. No, don't, don't worship the Mashiach, worship the Father, but hear the teachings of the Mashiach about the Father, brothers and sisters. So identity theft. Identity theft is what it is. It is straight up identity theft, right? And ain't nobody calling the popo, right? Okay, <laughs> let's look at this. Uh, Zechariah, because <clears throat> Zechariah, you hear what? Yah in his name. Mm -hmm. Obadiah Yah. Even though you see that I, it represents the Greek. The Greek is supposed to be pronouncing it as the Y in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So if you rewrite Zechariah's name, Z E C H A R Y A H, now you've got the physical visual of the Creator's name. Mm -hmm. Right? Yod Hey. Right? But okay. Uh, verse where is it? 11? 11. Go ahead. Take the silver and gold and make crowns and set them upon the head of Yahushua, son of Yazadek, the high priest. So here it says, then take silver and gold and make crowns and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek. Right? It was it was Yahazadek in Ezra, but here in Zechariah, it's Josedek now. Come on, y'all, make y'all mind up. You know, but hey, the thing is, go back to the Hebrew. If you go back to the Hebraic name, then you are running correction, right? Well, see, here, here's what, what they used to teach <clears throat> when I was being taught and, and teaching, you know, you know, teach that no one, we don't, we don't know our language, first of all, okay? Well, if, if we don't know our language, first of all, then why is it in our Bibles, right? So in Psalms 419 chapter, you have, <laughs> you have the left, if you got a good King James Version, I know y'all can't see this, but in the Psalms 119, you got these characters. Mm -hmm. These 22 characters are the Hebraic alphabet or alphabet. Mm -hmm. 
right? So then, what they tell you to teach is, well, just say that's Yiddish, mm. right? It's not Yiddish. Mm. It's Hebrew. It's what we call modern-day Hebrew. It's not Paleo-Hebrew, mm. but it's modern-day Hebrew. So that Hebrew, as they say, well, Hebrew is keep evolving. Keep evolving. It, it don't keep evolving, but if it does, then why isn't people evolving back to Hebrew, right? Because, right? because you know, we talk about, you know, that right there being... Uh, the top one is being the paleo, the bottom is being modern Hebrew, right? So if, if you don't want to follow Hebrew, then take your Bible and throw it away because you don't need anything. Because salvation is of the Yadahim, as Yahushua said in John chapter 4, verse 22 or 21. Mm -hmm. So, hey, all we're saying is let's self-correct, brothers and sisters. Let's get on the name game. Let's... Stop letting people tell us, well, this is the name. No, it's not the name. Because when the Mashiach comes back and you call him Joshua, he's like, what? You call him Joshua? Who? You call him Yeshua? Come on now. you like, that ain't my name. My name is pronounced Yahusha. Right? That's how my name is pronounced. Yahusha. And then, well, hey, hey, Yahusha, you know, I love your father God. My father's not God. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, that's scary. It is scary. It's it, it, scary. It's terrifying. Because people think that that's true. Yeah. And it's, it's an error in the teachings of men on top of scriptures, brothers and sisters. I mean, don't you even say that in Malachi chapter 7? It says, you know, get away from me. Get away from me. You know, oh, we prophesied in your name. <laughs> oh, my name is Jesus. You yeah. prophesied in my name. My name ain't Yeshua, Jeshua, mm -hmm. or Joshua. Right. You know, right. you, Good try, but step to the left. Step yeah. to the left. <laughs> step to the left, right? But hey, let's go to uh, let's go to Acts seven, right? Acts seven, right fast. So now here, here, here's a big, big, big deception, right? That it just goes right over people's head, and I, I, <laughs> I asked my teacher, you know, I told the last days of me. You know, being there, that I had to walk away. You know, I gave him, I gave him three questions. You know, why do we now say hallelujah? Mm -hmm. And he told me, well, I asked him, what does it mean? Why are we saying it? He said, well, I don't know what it means. I just read what's in the book. And strike book, you know. And I was like, okay, then this Jehoshua in numbers, should it not be Yahusha? Oh, uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, and two. So here is Acts. I said, okay, last straw's right here, bro. Let's read it first, cause, cause this right here is this this just threw me over the fence. You know what I'm saying? Because all all those years of teaching me, letting me teach and, and show people, you know, what we I thought was truth in scriptures, which is half truths basically. The the Ruach said, no, look. You're seeking for true understanding. You've been asking for it. Now, you who are going to give it to? Mm -hmm. Right? So now, here we are at this, this, this crossroad, you know, me and my teacher, you know, and, and, and he's sitting there lying to me. Lying to me. You know? And that's something that I, I do not want to do to the people, is lie to the people because you who is going to hold me accountable. You know what I'm saying? And so... It's about truth and righteousness. Like I say, I'm not trying to convert nobody, but I have a duty to give you the truth. Mm -hmm. Not my truth, scriptural truth. So this is just me just showing you errors in translation that doctrines on top of these errors keep us in darkness, right. away from you, who, away from you, who. You know what I'm saying? And if you say Yahoo's name, and you say Yahusha's name, but you call him El Elohim, that's, that's incorrect. You know what I'm saying? That's a God teaching, right? But let's let's just read this right quick. I can <clears throat> let me read it first because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. Acts seven, Acts chapter seven, verse forty-four, and it reads as our fathers had the tabernacle and witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moshe that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen it. So the ten of meanings of the tabernacle was a pattern of what was in eternity. Right. 
So Yahuwah gave that pattern to Moshe. And if you want to know what Yahuwah's throne looks like in eternity, look at the Ten of Meetings of the Tabernacle. Right? He says, which also our fathers came after brought in with Jesus into possession of the Gentiles whom God drank out before the face of our fathers until the days of David. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Here's so much. Here's, here's what's wrong with this. Why is Jesus' name there and Jesus didn't take the, the mantle from Moshe? Right? So now, if you accept this being Jesus, if you're going to say Jesus was God in the beginning, mm -hmm. you're going to say Jesus was God manifest in the flesh, mm -hmm. and that he was also in the Old Testament. He was the God of the Old Testament. That's an old Christian Catholic fable that Hebrews pick up when they want to teach God to man to God again to give you the bad name or the unrighteous name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So he says, which our fathers brought after in with Yah, it's supposed to be Yahusha. Because who named it? Moshe changed to Yahusha. Oshia. Oh, so this is supposed to be Oshia. Now, if you got an older King James Version or a scripture or whatever, it might have Joshua there, mm -hmm. right? But again, Joshua is not the pure name of the son, Yahusha. It's not the pure name as we know it, right? So if you know the pure name, you don't need any other kickoffs, knockoffs, or off-brand names. Mm -hmm. Deal with the true name because the son name is in the Father. So if you want the Father, you need to be able to call on the Father correctly. Mm -hmm. He says, call on my name. What's his name? It's for you to research, study, find out, mm -hmm. and utilize it in your life by keeping Torah. Right? So then they say, uh, unto the possession of the Gentiles. So now you say they were white folks way back then also. Mm -hmm. Right? That was in the vicinity of the land of Canaan and the land of Yashara. Right? The Canaanites were black, the Philistines were black, the Phoenicians were black, the Amorites were black, the Zidonians were black. Hey, even Ammon and Moab was black because they come from a black lineage. Mm -hmm. Right? Even Esau was a black man because he come from what? A black lineage. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we need to understand the name game is very, very, very dangerous, brothers, to our salvation. We got to fix it. Hebrew names have meaning. Mm -hmm. Understand what they mean. So here, this Gentile just means nations because these black nations are nations, mm -hmm. right? So now, he says that they, Yahuwah dragged them up before the face of our fathers until the days of King Daoud, mm -hmm. right? So here's King Daoud from Moshe to King Daoud. There's only one Yahusha. That was Yahusha ben none. Because remember, in, 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 in 1 John, in your King James chapter 4, he says, you must believe that Yahusha started in the flesh. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't start in ex before earth was created. He didn't create heaven and earth. Right. Yahuwah did. Right? But if they want you to believe in the fairy tale and you go for it, then do you 100. Right. Simple as that, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. But hey, let's go a little further real quick. I want, to, I want to look at some other stuff. Let's go to Psalm 68 right quick and get the Father's name in this King James Version, which still looks Latin, but it's supposed to pronounce it, it pronounce it Latin after the correct of Hebrew, then this is how you say his name. So Psalm 68, verse 4, right? Verse 4. Uh-huh. Sing to you, sing praises to his name. Extol our Father who rides the clouds by his name, Yahuwah. So in your King James Version, the name is Jah. Sing praises unto Jah. But remember, Jah is supposed to be pronounced with the Hebraic transliteration, and Jah is Yah. So you don't pronounce Jah as Jah, you pronounce Jah as Yah. Mm -hmm. So Jehoshua is not Jehoshua, it's Yahushua. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. It's Yahushua. But Yah is Yah, brothers and sisters, in Psalm 68, verse 4, mm -hmm. in your King James Version. We see it in some versions where they put the word, the name Yahweh there. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And again, there is no, no W in Hebrew. So W, take those two, take that W, set it apart. Yahoo, up, brothers and sisters. Wait a minute, let me just write it out for you because I don't want no one to, to drop this. Because, you know, again, if you just go back to our first teaching that we did, God versus Creator, and then God versus Creator Part 2, clarification of the Creator's name. So they would say, some people say Yahweh. But that W, there's no W in Hebrew. When you understand that, then you will no longer ever say Yahweh because there was no W in Hebrew. Take those two, you, two uh, take that W and set it apart, and now you have the name Yahuwah, Yahuwah. I, I'm proving what I'm saying. I'm proving what I'm saying. But a lot of people got a lot of information out there. You just got to you gotta crucify, purify, make sure it's right mm -hmm. before you accept it. Like I say, I ain't trying to convert nobody. Mm -hmm. I want to show you my information with you because you will say, hey, I, I bless you with this understanding. Now go and share it. Just go and share it. Wake the people up. Those that want to be woke, right? But now, same thing. Uh, let's go to Genesis 29. Genesis 29, right? So again, hallelujah, right? We don't, when it's spelled with a J, we don't say hallelujah. We say hallelujah, right? So now, let's forget the fourth son being born and what they named the fourth son. Go ahead. What verse is that? 35. 35. Genesis 29 and 35, right? Go ahead. And she conceived again and bore a son and said, This time I will praise Yahuwah. Wait a minute. This time I will praise Yahuwah. What does the name mean that says praise Yahuwah? Go ahead. Therefore she called his name Yehuda. Yahuda. Okay. So in Latin, which they say is English, mm -hmm. we say Judah. Right? It's mm -hmm. Judah. Hey, let's go back to the Hebrew, right? What is what is Judah's correct pronunciation for his name? It is Yahuda, right? Yahuda, right? Short for Yadaim, right? The Yadaim. Alright, so hey, it's just important to understand. There's a there's here is here is Yahoo's name. <laughs> right? So So here's Yahoo's name, right? Yahoo up, right? And what do they do with Yahuda's name? All they did was take Yah's name and they put a dialect. It's called the D is called the dialect, mm -hmm. right? And Yahuwah is Yahuda with the D in it. Mm -hmm. I shall praise Yah. Right? So stop calling yourself Judah because all that leads to do is people saying that Judah are Jews. <laughs> right? We ain't Jews. That's my word. That's slander. You should be angry for calling you a Jew. Right. You should be ignorant with it. I ain't no damn Jew. Right. You know, I'm a Hebrew from the house of Yasharal, from the tribe of Yahuda, mm -hmm. because I want to be in line with my creator's name, because he said, a people call with my name. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Net Yahu, get a lie, Yah, behind the cameras, brother, get a, uh, Yahuda. Yahuda. Right? Yahuda. <laughs> you know, uh, hey, it's too simple to make complicated. Right. But through religion, doctrine, they have made this complicated, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. And all we want you to know is that, hey, the Father said of people who are called with my name. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the people that represents the name of Yahuwah? The house of Yahshua, basically, brothers and sisters. That's it. His house is called with his name, the house of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. right? The city. The city, Yahushua, mm -hmm. right? The state that is in Yahuda, mm -hmm. in the country of the nation, Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Yah, 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 Yah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. That's all we say, brothers and sisters. And it's very important for you to grasp this understanding that the name game, you know, Jesus, Yeshua, Joshua, Jehoshua. I mean, Joshua will be the closest that you will have. Once you understand how to pronounce Jehoshua, you should be pronouncing it as Yahusha. Because he said, I come in my Father's name. The Father is the creator and not God. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the mighty Son only has one name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we as a people only have one name as a nation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we're scattered all over the planet. Mm -hmm. But hey, until you come back to Yahuwah, Yahuda, Yasharal, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to be lost until you do, for the most part. So hey, I, I think I made enough mess. I don't get stuff too disarranged. But hey, brothers and sisters, with that, I also want to get some understanding in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. Uh oh. <laughs>